Hello everyone, uh, my name is Miloš Josimov, greetings from Serbia. Uh, yeah, as you said, I spent four years in, in Finland, uh, three years in Kokkola, one year in Lamperanta, and uh, I'm glad I'm going to stay for one more year in La Peranta. And uh, since my arrival to, to, to Finland and to Kokkola, I thought I'm going to stay for, for one season, eventually two. But after some time, I started realizing how much I like Finland, how much I feel good in Finland. And uh, now I feel Finland as my second home. Uh, in general, I, Finland means a lot to me now. Uh, people are nice, uh, life is calm, the uh, country is well organized, everything is, is perfect here and uh, I enjoy living in Finland. Uh, also, uh, I was thinking about my future and I, I can see definitely myself living there and uh, let's see what's going to happen, everything is possible. Season of uh, 2020 was very weird because of Corona. Uh, I think it affected a lot on our team and um, I would like to split uh, last season in, in two parts. Uh, first part of the season was really, really bad. We played bad. Our results were not so good. Our coach was sucked. Um, everything was so shocking, but uh, then uh, we started playing good after, after Jan and, and Marco took over our team. And we had some really, really uh, great results. Um, at one moment, uh, we won six games in a row and we played really nice football. So we were all enjoying it. And uh, it was really bad that the season was over. But maybe even with a uh, with few more games, I, I think we could have even promoted to the higher league. But that's football. We were unlucky. Uh, and I still think that uh, we had a, the best team uh, in, in Kakonen last season. But that's football. Sometimes you, you win, sometimes you lose. And um, I think that we have a good basis for the next season. Uh, last season was historic for the club. Uh, we reached second position in Kakonen, which is uh, the highest position for the club in, in history. And we also uh, promoted some younger players. They, they get the chance. They played really good. And uh, in, in the next season, they, they're going to be even better. Um, but also, uh, I think uh, uh, in the next season, we, we lost some players because uh, they went to play on a, on a higher stage. But still, uh, I, have, um, I, I think that the club uh, is working hard uh, to build a strong st squad for the next season too. Uh, my personal goal and the club goal for the next season is uh, to promote uh, to the higher league and uh, my, my, my goal is also to help uh, to the younger players um, with some advices, with example and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be part of our club, of, of this team. Uh, even though we we haven't promoted last season, I'm still satisfied with my uh, with my games uh, last season, and uh, I think I can I can still build up uh, for the next season. I had many great uh, moments in my career, but uh, probably the highlight of my career was uh, winning the title uh, of Slovakian National League with Slovan Bratislava. Uh, lifting the trophy is something that we, we are uh, working hard for and uh, playing in Slovan Bratislava also um, brought me opportunity to play uh, for, for one really big club, uh, brought me opp opportunity to play Champions League qualifications, to play with some good players, against some good players and uh, I, I could never forget uh, my period there in, in Bratislava. Uh, the second uh, hi highlight of my career was um, playing for my ex-club in Serbia, uh, it's Donny Srem. Uh, we started there from, from the third division, from, from Colman and Level, and uh, we never dreamed of playing in some uh, top division, but uh, with, with hard working um, we jumped from third division to the top league. And uh, I was named uh, as a as a best uh, defender in the league in the in the best eleven. Uh, 
of the season and uh, that was a ticket uh, for my transfer to Slovan Bratislava and uh, I was I was very proud uh, because that's uh, that's my hometown club and um, uh, we, we brought uh, a lot of good moments for the people there and um, it, it's just things uh, it's just something that uh, it's not easy to describe uh, my third uh, great moment in in, in career was uh, playing in uh, Kopev. Uh, I, w- I would never forget uh, this this period in 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 Kokola because um, I was playing uh, even though it's a foreign club. I was playing uh, with, with with full heart and. Uh, we had some really, really great results there. Uh, I played really good, and uh, we promoted to Veikaus Liga, which was the dream uh, for the for the people of uh, Kopeve and Kokola as well. And I was also named as a, as a best defender of Ikkonen. So um, I, I will never forget those three moments, and uh, I just hope that in the future I can I can reach the same um, same things with uh, with Pepo. Uh, I, I've played in, in many clubs in Serbia, and uh, but uh, before before uh, before Don uh, I, I didn't have like many successes, and uh, mostly because I I haven't played uh, as a defender. I was playing on the rock position as a midfielder, winger, but uh, my qualities. Uh, I was just not able to to show my qualities on that positions. So uh, when I started playing as a defender at my age of 23, maybe uh, then I started with with my breakthrough, and then I signed for uh, for Donny Srem, uh, who started with with some project, and uh, we jumped uh, in four years uh, from from third division to to top division. Uh, in that in that period, I also uh, started real, realizing how important uh, uh, things are for football player: um, healthy lifestyle, diets, uh, additional trainings, and uh, such a things. Uh, of course, I'm still living this kind of life. And uh, uh, what could I say about uh, Slovakia? Slovakia was just something uh, different and bigger because Slovan Bratislava is the biggest club in, biggest club in Slovakia. Uh, playing for, for Slovan um, is, is something really, really nice because everybody knows you, you are some kind of star. Uh, we won the title and lifting the trophy, that's the amazing feeling, you know. And um, I really enjoyed two years playing there and... Uh, Except some small injuries, everything was fine. And uh, I think I could have showed more uh, without those injuries. And uh, unluckily, mm, these things um, sometimes just happen, but but that's life. Celebrating of Christmas in Serbia is a a different than than Finland. uh, Because first of all, Serbia is an Orthodox country. We are very religious and the Orthodox Christmas is at the January of 7th. So that's the time when the families are together. We are spending time together three days in a row. And um, we are just praying to the God for the for the health, for the happiness. And um, it, basically that's the that's the most important uh, holiday in Serbia. And it means a lot to, to the old Serbian people. And uh, like like every every year before, uh, I'm gonna spend uh, Christmas with my family together. And uh, even though our preseason will start uh, in the beginning of January, uh, club allowed me to to stay a few days more in Serbia and uh, spend Christmas with them. Well, not so many people know that I wanted to quit with football at my age of 24. Uh, I was very disappointed because I was playing lower leagues. I haven't seen my future in football anymore, but uh, then I, I decided to join uh, my ex-club Donis Rem in third division to play uh, to play with my friends, to have some fun, you know, but at the end everything escalated, you know, and uh, everything uh, went to, to another direction, but, you know, some some decisions you know when you when you want to step down it just you know lifts you up 
and uh, watching from this time distance i'm happy that i i, I made this decision and um, you know just just follow your dreams and never give up and everything is possible uh, outside of football uh, I'm a, I'm a huge basketball fan and uh, I like to play basketball, I like to watch basketball, I like to talk about basketball, almost same as uh, talking about football. Uh, Besides basketball, I, I like to, to listen to music, I like to watch movies, I like long walks, uh, I like gym workouts. Uh, but uh, but at, at this moment maybe football coaching is uh, is my pri priority beside uh, playing football and uh, I'm I'm a coach in under 14 Pepos team and uh, it, it it takes a lot of time um, for for making trainings uh, for learning about new things uh, reading coaching books uh, watching coaching seminars and uh, in the future that that's my dream to to become a senior football coach Each player uh, in our team has some uh, specific skill or talents, but uh, I think that that one uh, one skill that I, I didn't have during my career, uh, or or I think that it, it could have been on a higher level, was uh, speed and quickness. So I would like to borrow uh, speed and quickness uh, from Artu Kotanen. And uh, I think his uh, his speed and, and his uh, quickness is 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 really good. And uh, with 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 his um, speed, I think I could have played on even on a higher level than this. Uh, I would like to invite Pepo fans to support us in the next season. Uh, they're great and they're really big and important part of our club and with them we are much much stronger uh, only with them we can reach our goals and uh, i would like to wish them a merry christmas and happy new year and also to to whole uh, pepo family and the and the organization see you soon